What's good, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Buzz Boys. Y'all know what it is. Today, matchup preview, Hornets Heat. This is a home game. And uh, it's a hot team. We're playing a good team, you know what I'm saying? But not an unbeatable team. We can beat them. And uh, tonight, they might be short of a couple of players. So let's see, you know, let's see. And so were the Timberwolves, you know, they they were short of a player, you know what I'm saying? But still, we're putting that in the past. I'm in a good mood today. I feel good. Just came back from touring the house. So that's why I like I'm a little late getting to the video. And I am gonna start getting these matchups out earlier. I really am. I really am. I was trying to wait. I was gonna do it earlier today. I was trying to wait to get the injury report from Miami. Um, because yesterday Caleb Martin was questionable. Uh, Jimmy Butler was questionable. And one more, uh, Tyler Hero was, was questionable. All three of those players were questionable. Right now, Caleb Martin has been ruled out with an Achilles, which is crazy because Cody, for us, is out with an Achilles. So, a little twin vibe right there. I don't know. But um, I think at this time, we're like an hour and some change away from tip-off. Um... Jimmy Butler is still questionable. I don't know. It hasn't like you know. I'm on the Miami Heat's Twitter, and they haven't really put that out yet. They just ruled Caleb out. He's out. So we got to see on Tyler and um. We got to see on Tyler and Jimmy, but I mean, if those two guys are out, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. And um. Shit. LaMelo guys all star running day. It was a pretty cool experience. If you didn't see it, go ahead and check out some um go like to the Hornets page. You'll see LaMelo guys running today. It was pretty cool. Um But shit, let me see. Let me read our injury report. I mean, I think it's basically the same. Cody's out, Jalen's out, you know, uh, Gordon is out. But I'd like to get that stuff to y'all anyways in the matchup preview, you know what I'm saying? Just to kind of know what to expect. What not to expect. Ooh, I kind of want to watch this shit with my Trez for the Real Access. I love Real Access, bro. Like, if you guys ever, like, haven't watched the Hornets Real Access, go check out the Hornets Real Access. Yeah, LaMelo got that ring. Love to see it. Love to see it. But yeah, this is the last game before the All-Star break, man. So, I mean, it's just, it's a big one. It's a huge test, you know, playing a good team. <sighs> I just want to see us get a win. Seriously, my boy going to the game too. He told me he's going to the game tonight. So, you know, you don't ever want to go to the game and see nobody lose. So, I really hope. I really hope that um they get a win, bro. All right, let's hear. Let's hear Trez with the freaking real access, just because I haven't watched it yet. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Charlotte's newfound ferocity helps snap its skin. Here comes Terry off to the races. Love that left hand. Yeah. Ah. Lamelo sets up Rozier. Escape dribble. Everything working for the Hornets. It was big, man. It was a big time win for us in the top of our hands. So come out with a W, man, and be the first one with me. And the Charlotte Hornets jersey, man. It's just a blessing, man. <sighs> that was cool, but it still was the Pistons. <laughs> so we got to get a win with him against a good team. I want to experience that. And um, hopefully he can guard Bam, you know what I'm saying? We don't just get killed. You know, I hate giving just giving up 20, 30-point triple-doubles every time we play a good center. But, um, you know, for me, a good matchup, big matchup is going to be Miles and... Um, Miles and Jimmy, if Jimmy plays, I hope, you know, you know, I, you know, I hope he doesn't play. I hope him, I hope he doesn't play. I hope Tyler Hero doesn't play. You know what I'm saying? Wish them the best. They can rest up and come back after the All-Star break, but we need to win bad right now. So I just, shit, I don't even want to see them for real, for real. But, um, and James Brago's media availability, he said, I hope he can fly with Jimmy and soak up all his knowledge and toughness and experience that Jimmy brings to the table. Um, he uh, helps hopes Lamelo can like fly to the All Star game with Jimmy Butler. Like, stop sucking, stop sucking his dick, bro. Get off his dick, bro. 
Like, fuck Jimmy Butler. Who cares? Fuck him. Like, LaMelo's a goat. He don't need nothing from freaking um, Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler don't got no ring. What the fuck? What can you teach him? They both all-stars. They're at the same level. They're at the same level, and LaMelo's way younger. Like, who cares? Um... I just, I just want to see their freaking injury report. See if he's in. See if he's out. See our freaking injury report. I mean, they show me something so I can give y'all some information. So, yeah, you know, like I already said, same guys is out. Hayward, Martin, McDaniels, all out. Um, and it's kind of crazy that, like, at least, you know, McDaniels hasn't even been doubtful. Like, bro, it's just a fucking ankle sprain, bro. Like, it's been about two two weeks of some change now. Like, it's just a fucking ankle sprain, bro. Come, like, hurry up. Like, damn, bro. Like, man. I don't know. Tonight, though, I'm going to come out and tell y'all what I really want to see. I want to see Book. I want to see JT. That's just, that's what I want to see, bro. Like, if we're going to lose, can we lose at least playing the young guys and, like, watching them develop? Because if you watch JT in that last game, bro, he was impacting the game. Quick, he was getting, like, dunks, lays up, laying up, you know what I'm saying? Playing good defense. He was helping. That's what I want to see. Whether we win or lose, like, okay, at least I can watch the young players develop. But we're just sitting here losing games. With veterans shooting fucking 20%, bro. I don't want to see that shit. I'd rather watch a rookie struggle than watch freaking vet struggle. Like, bro, if we're going to lose either way it go, we might as well lose going young. Seriously. Seriously, man. I, I just want to get back to win, bro. Like, I really do. <laughs> I really want to see us win and win against a formidable opponent. Like, that Pistons win, bro. What is that, man? What is that? Who cares? <sighs> mm -mm -mm. But okay, Frankie Lulu, two-year extension with the Panthers. That's a W. If you're a Panthers fan, you know that's a W. Frankie Lulu is a beast. And yeah, she wanted that. But um, go ahead, wrap this up. I don't really got too much to add. I am going to go back and look at our past matchups with the Heat, though, because I'm interested to see when's the last time that we beat them. I feel like we beat them. At least sometime last season. I don't, we haven't even played them that many times this season. We still got to play them a few more times this year. But I am interested to see um, how this shit goes. But we got to win this game, man. We have to get back to 500 at least. Going to the All Star break 500, that's like, you know what I'm saying? You can kind of live with that. I don't want to go into the All Star break two games under 500. Like, I really don't. Going on, man. Laptops are so. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get this out to y'all. I'll tell y'all quick. It's six six oh nine. You feel me? Tip off around seven ten. But yeah, we've lost to the horn. We lost to the Heat the last three times we played, and we haven't beat them in a fucking while, dating back to last season. Yeah, last time we beat them, well, we beat them twice last year. We beat them twice last year. We beat them in overtime. We beat them um, in March. And yeah, shit, we even beat them, like, the last game before, like, the bubble had happened. We had freaking beat them. But, yeah, within the past year, though, 2021, 2022, haven't fared too well. I mean, them first couple games in the early, early 2021. But this season tail in the last season they, they whooped our ass like the games haven't even really been close may 2nd 121 111 october 29th 11499 february 5th 104 to 86 so they've been kind of stepping on us for the last few games so it would be really nice to go out and pull out a win at home to go into the all-star break and uh the hornets need a break i think Probably tomorrow or maybe the next day after that. I'm going to do a video on just like, are the Hornets just getting too fatigued? Because, you know, we're kind of, the players are kind of getting ran into the ground, bro. And I and I touched on that in the last video. The minutes is, is getting kind of out of hand, bro. Like, we got a lot of guys out here playing 40 minutes a night. 
that shit just isn't sustainable. Especially when you already got guys out. You can't be running other guys into the ground because once they're out, what the fuck are you going to do? And Miles Bridges currently leads the NBA in minutes. Um, and then it's like Borrego kind of doubled down the other day. He's like, yeah, Terry, Terry's our backup point guard now. Da -da -da -da. He kind of like double down on that. So it doesn't seem like his minutes are going to be decreasing. So it's just, I don't know, man. It, could that be attributed to, to the shooting slumps and stuff? Who knows? You know, at the end they're still NBA players can only give them so much of an excuse. Um, but it is it is something, bro. It is a variable that needs to be taken into consideration. Because, I mean, you check the box square every night and it's just 40 minutes, 40 minutes, 42 minutes, 40 something minutes every time. So, I don't know. Maybe just the break will really benefit these guys in a, in a bigger way than we might think. But, we'll go ahead and wrap this up. I will catch y'all after the game and hopefully, hopefully, I am talking about a win. But if not, I'll still be here. I'm going to catch y'all afterwards. Peace.